So everything kind of makes sense now. Um, if we come back to our site, if I refresh, it's gonna throw me out because I've not created my account. So account, you see, it has thrown me out. So um, first thing you need to know is that uh, if you go to somewhere, get back to our app, there's a route folder. If, in case you're new to Laravel, if you go to this folder, click on web.php. Uh, this file is the file where Laravel lists all its routes. So every link you are clicking on Laravel that is going to anywhere is listed here. This is, it has to hit at least one of these lines before it goes to elsewhere in your Laravel app. All right. So you will see that every time we run that um, Laravel generator, it adds the link here. So if you look here, you see that some links repeated itself. The rep levels was here and it's here again. It's repeating. So we have to remove it because we did it twice. Uh, ref categories uh, is repeating. We have to remove it. Another place it's repeating is if you go to resources, you go to views, and we go to layouts. If we go to layouts and go to menu, you see that the menu in the menu, the ref category is repeating. You see, ref category, ref category, ref level is repeating too. Uh, because we've done it first time and uh, we made a mistake, we came back to do it. So we're going to delete. Um, two of them. Now we've deleted with we're good, we're good. So the next thing we're gonna do is ha having to register. So I'll have to pause it to create new account. So new account created, I've clicked on submit, it assigned me in, and as usual, we now have these three. So if I now click on ref categories, guess what? Um, it now looks cool. So I can now create a new category if I click on this. Uh, a new category. The idea is that the user creates, uh, will be able to create a category and generate a URL for it. You understand? That's the idea. So a ref category is supposed to be something like, let's say, uh, Facebook. Facebook. So what it does is it's, uh, the user is able to uh, see the list of um, how many people that have used their cate this category in the past. So they generate a URL, that's what we want. They can go and give that URL in any blog or forum. At the end of the day, if they come to this dashboard, they can see how many people that have used that particular URL, okay? So we can say Twitter and then Instagram or Telegram. Telegram. All right, now we have this. We can come to the levels. So it now, the levels now make sense. If we click on add new, we can now create a new level. The first level uh, is only admin that needs to see this red ref levels. We're getting to that. The first level could be a uh, gold level. Gold. It can only be gold is, uh, uh, this is the highest level. This is the highest level on this platform okay good so the reward we're rewarding you in points and congratulatory message and um, target number of refs you have to reach um, let's say 1000 ref refs you invite 1000 people to this platform that's when you become a gold member per point so at once you become a gold member we pay you let's say five points Part person you invite that is save. Okay, cool. We have to create another one. We'll call it silver. Silver. This is the mid uh, level achievement stage. Okay, whatever you call it. Okay, so we, the reward is in points. Congratulatory message. Um, you need to get to 300 when you get to 300 people invitees you become a mid-level and uh, we start paying you four points or let's say three points per person you invite so all these are incentives so that you can invite more and then finally we're going to do bronze bronze is when you're still starting bronze uh, this is beginner level a beginner level um, the reward is still in points. Congratulatory message. So at the beginner level, um, 
you just need to invite 100 people to um, complete this stage. So at that, we give you, we pay you two points per person you invite. So click save. So we now have the three of them, okay? So it kind of makes sense now. So in the subsequent videos, we'll start uh, cleaning up some of these pages and adding more features, all right? So